Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On with Reese James and Craig Mitch, and this is our first 8-bit debate for a while. Now the reason for that is we're struggling to find topics with which these guys disagree without abusing the club. So if you have any good topics for us, do send them in, put them in the comment section below. But fortunately, we found one that is a very interesting one. The last one we did, or one of the last ones we did, was Kieran Trippier or Carl Walker. So today, it is Ben Davis or Danny Rose. Fighting for Ben Davis is Reese James. Fighting for Danny Rose is Craig Mitch. And I'm gonna go with Craig Mitch first. Why do you prefer Danny Rose to Ben Davis? First of all, we haven't specified what this is about. Is it about who's the better player or who is better for Spurs? If it's about Excuse who's the better player, it. can I finish? If it's about who's the better player, it's Danny Rose. If it's about who's better for Spurs, it's Danny Rose. Simply being, okay, my first point, is that he is one of our longest, I'm if him, not... Hold on, I'm giving him point because that was a good joke. I quite like that one. Well done, Mitch. If not, Sad. he's one of our longest standing players, if not the... I think he is. He's the longest standing senior player for Spurs. He's been here since what? 2008. Hold on, he's been standing the longest. Oh, come on, why? why? No wonder he looks so knackered all the time, Do you mean longest, long longest serving, serving? Longest serving players for Spurs. He's been here since 2008. The only other player that's been around since that sort of time is Carl Walker. That alone, when I criticised Aaron Lennon saying he didn't do anything for us, you guys were like, oh, he's a long-serving player for the club. Danny Rose is one of those players, okay? So he's the only one, he's one of the only ones that was through the whole one-day Ramos era. He's been here through the Harry Redknapp glory years and he's also here now. All of these new players, they don't know what it means to be a Spurs man. Danny Rose has been at White Hart Lane for the best part of seven years and we still love him to this okay. day. Okay. I'm going to not give you a point for that just because also during that period he didn't play under Ramos, he played once under Redknapp and also uh, he asked pretty much to leave uh, unless he got in the team that's after he went that's to speculation. Sunderland on Barnaby, loan. Barnaby, so Reese James, you're up, you're up next. Uh, one point to nil to Mitch at the moment. It's very hard to deny this is the best our defence has looked for years. Finally, we can defend. We've got the best defensive record in the league at the moment with only seven goals conceded, joint with Woolwich uh, and we're the best we haven't been the best for ages and that is because Ben Davies is a more defensive player than Danny Rose okay that is one of the reasons why he's more reliable in defense we've already got Kyle Walker bombing forward making mistakes Ben Davies is less mistake prone than Danny Rose was we all remember Arsenal halfway line losing the ball a few seasons ago right now we've got Ben Davies in the team we're better at defending so you're gonna we're pin sure at the our back. seven goals down to Ben Davies no, that's what you're gonna it's do it's a team effort that's yes, what I'm gonna it say is. it's a team effort Ben Davies is more compatible with our defense okay what? That He's that's far more compatible. That's where the, to me, that's where the point comes in. I think he works better in little triangles with the defenders and his midfielders. But that's just that's opinion. But I'm going to give a point for it, Craig. Uh, I, I should say for anyone who hasn't watched an eight-bit debate, this is the first to eight points. It's currently one all between the two of them. Craig Mitch. All right. So we signed Danny Rose for only one million pounds as an academy player. What he's worth. Back in 2008, and since then, he has been on loan to four teams, okay? He's been on loan to the likes of Peterborough, he's been on loan to Watford. That is a bad Hold on, sign. hold on. Let Let's me loan out I'm, get, I'm getting to a point. <laughs> he's been on loan to Bristol, and most recently, Sunderland. He has learned the English game. He's gone through the channels, he's been there, he knows, what it, hold on. he knows what it means to play in the Premier League. Ben Davis has just come Sunderland, from Swansea. Mate. Played from Swansea as a kid. Swansea have never really been great. They've only started to get good. Sunderland, Bristol, hold on, all great. hold on, hold on. Danny Rose has learned the gears and he knows what it's like to play in English football. He's a great player and he knows. He knows as Reece, much as a Ben bit Davies. Tenuous to me. He Reece, knows as much right. as Ben Davies knows. He knows as How much as he ben, Davies. ben Davies has only been around for like two years. Exactly. I like he's he's two years. He's right. younger. Three Danny years Rose younger. has been around for what? Seven years. Hold on, because I'm worried that we're not going to get to eight points. I've given a point to Mitch for his passion there. A very passionate. Oh, uh, unbelievable. Reese, you're going. In addition to my compatibility. Well, I didn't even finish that point. In fact, <laughs> because you cut point, me off. Mate. No, but it wasn't. That wasn't the point. I don't care if he gave the point. Okay? I'm giving Reese a point now for Mitch interrupting me. The point was. Mean. The point was. Okay, that we signed him for one million. We got Ben Davis because we traded Sigerson, a great player, to Swansea. Really for, hold statement. on, for Ben Davis and Vorm, two average players, and we've probably regretted that ever since. Sigerson was a fantastic player, scored many a goals, and we got Vorm and Ben Davis well, in what? return. Well, For how much? For how much? In, uh, we paid something like 12 million on top of it. Ridiculous. Why would you not swap a player who you've constantly got on the bench for two players 
one who plays in the first team and one who's constantly on the bench. No, Surely only that's just option. started playing in the first team because Danny Rose was injured. Might I add, I might injured games. at the beginning of the season, <laughs> then picked up a cot in his hand and got injured again. Davis is in the team by default, not by default, by mistake, okay? <laughs> only because Rose got injured. He should not be in the side. Yeah, but he's right, hold he on. earned his way hold into on. the team. I'm giving a point to Reese for the fact that Mitch got the word wrong. I'm oh, giving a point God. to Mitch for the fact that he's right. Ben Davis has only, only started because Rose in got injured at the beginning of the season. It was on yeah, a technicality. And then he's this point. That happens all the no, time. Players get in, in because of injury and they prove their point oh, and then they are excellent. he fought his way into the team, did he? Did he fight his way into the team, Reese? Was he yeah, good he enough? Yeah, he did Danny Rose and got himself in the team. I'll tell you what, I'll give Reese a point because he has played well since he got in the team and you have to take your chance when you get it. Now, hold on. Guys, we've reached 4-3 to Reese. It's 4-3 to Reese. We're going to end this. This is the end of part one of the 8-bit debate. Tune into part two of the 8-bit debate to see if either of them can find any more points to get to that magical 8-point score. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV, and drop the video a like. We'll see you in part two. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On with Reese James and Craig Mitch, and welcome to part two of this week's 8-bit debate, which is quite simply Ben Davies or Danny Rose. 